In this video, I'm going to walk you through cleaning the tip of the soldering iron. This is the most important step to assure a good solder joint. By cleaning, what I really mean is removing the tin oxide from the tip. And of course, solder is mostly tin, and if you heat up the solder, uh, it will oxidize in air and form this layer of tin oxide, and tin oxide doesn't allow solder to stick to it. And that means if you have a tin oxide coating on the solder tip, the solder is going to beat up on the outside, it won't wet the tip, and you can't make good thermal contact of the tip to your part. You have to have a layer of, of a tin or solder coating the, the tip to make good, uh, con the good thermal contact with the tip and the part. In order to make a good solder joint, the first and most essential ingredient is clean the oxide off the tip. And I'm going to show you a couple techniques of doing that. The simplest is just abrasive. You rub the tip in uh, the brass sponge and that will abrade some of the tin oxide, but it's oftentimes not enough. Uh, I'm going to show you using the, the, um, the flux or the rosin that comes with the solder itself. And then just using solder flux and best of all, my favorite technique is using solder paste because solder paste is really a combination of solder flux and solder itself. And if you rub the tip in the solder paste, the solder flux will uh, dissolve the tin oxide and the solder in the paste will help coat a fresh layer of tin on the surface. The very first step in soldering is make sure we have a clean tip. Now the ideal solder temperature to start with, kind of the low end of the temperature range for lead free, 600 degrees Fahrenheit. So I've got my soldering iron. It's been sitting at 600 degrees Fahrenheit for a little bit here. And you can see that um, it's a little bit dull. It's coated with some grime on it. The very first thing we have to do is clean the tip. A clean solder tip is a happy tip. And a happy tip is going to make happy soldering engineers. And so we're going to first clean the tip by rubbing it in that um, copper or brass sponge that abrasively cleans the tip and cleans off some of the excess on the copper on the surface. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use solder flux in order to dissolve the tin oxide from the surface. And we, we can do that in a number of ways. One is we can just take some of the solder and you want to make sure that the solder we're using has flux core. You can see there is flux core. That means it has solder flux built into it. So we take a little bit of the um, uh, of solder we touch to the tip and you can see that vapor coming off that is the flux but you notice that solder is kind of balling up on the tip that says the tip is coated with tin oxide and the solder doesn't wet it very well we don't want that case and so we've got a lot of tin oxide on the surface we can keep applying um, solder to it and letting it melt and each time it melts some of that solder flux will clean off the tip uh, and that um, helps a little bit or here's a little trick we can use. This is where solder paste comes in. So here's our tip and you can see it's, uh, it's pretty grimy. We've got tin oxide on the surface there. Solder's not sticking to it very well. We want to clean the tin oxide off. Here's how we do it. We take some of that solder paste and we're going to put a little glob onto the silicone mat. doesn't take very much. Solder paste is basically a lot of flux and some tiny little balls of solder that hasn't melted. And so we're going to take advantage of the fact that there's a lot of solder flux in here already. And we're going to use that solder flux and the 600 degree tip in order to dissolve the tin oxide and coat the surface with molten solder. And so you can see when we touch the hot iron to the solder flux, all that vapor, don't breathe it in, that's the solder flux doing its magic. And so we're just rubbing that tip in the solder flux, and you can see as we do that, hey look, the tin is starting, the solder is starting to coat the outer surface of the soldering iron. And periodically, we're going to drop the solder off, we're going to rub it in the brass sponge, and we're going to come back and do it again. And look, we have a nice shiny tip now. Uh, that the solder coats we're in good shape you do that for you know 30 seconds and you'll end up with a nice clean tip ready to do soldering now if you leave the tip open in air for 30 seconds to a minute uh, it's going to get coated with tin oxide 
you're going to have to clean it again, either with the brass sponge, adding a little bit of solder with um, a, core, a rosin core or solder flux core, touching it into some solder paste, or just uh, touching it into some solder flux. Now we're ready to do some soldering.